Hi, I'm Merlene. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to be sharing one of a very requested topic with all of you and that is how to reach a goal. I thought of putting a little twist in it and I'm going to show you how I reach a goal in seven days and hopefully you'll be able to use some of these bits and pieces to reach one of your valuable goals in the next seven days. So when it comes to reaching a goal, I always believe and I always remember what Stephen Covey said, the guy who wrote, who wrote um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and he says to start with the end in mind. So when it comes to reaching goals, I believe that the reaching of goals happen twice, first in your mind and then in reality. So it's so important to be able to visualize this goal that you want to reach. But before we can visualize this goal, we have to know that it is actually the right goal. So let me show you what I usually do. And I always start very, very broad, very important to be aware of your values and your life purpose. And I'm going to draw it like this as a boundary of everything I basically do in life. So I might do another video on how to determine what your values are, what your life purpose is, but I want you to think of what do you find valuable? What are the values that guide your decisions in life? What are you emotionally um, drawn to or pushed away from? And that might give you an idea of your values. So some of the values that I have is unconditional positive regard, unconditional love, respect, um, self-discipline, and hard work. So these are some of the values that I use to guide my life and to guide the goals that I choose. So this is the first step. I'm going to take you through five steps. This is the first step to determine what your values and your goals are. Then with this in mind, to go in a little bit and to ask yourself, what are five valuable goals that I might want to reach this week, that I might want to reach in the next seven days? And here you can go all out. Choose five goals that are aligned with your values that might take you closer to your life purpose. So we're going to write these five goals um, in around the big circle. So let's say um, for me, a goal is to work on my health. Oh, one of my goals. Another goal for me is to spend quality time with my two boys. So I'm going to say quality time. Okay. Another goal for me is to record another YouTube video. Record a YouTube video. Another goal for me is to take a cold shower every single day. And a last goal for me um, is for example to let's say to meditate at least five times this week. Okay, so these are the five goals that I decided I'm going to work on. I'm going to see whether they are aligned with my values. I forgot to say my life purpose. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my life purpose in quickly. So my life purpose is to reach my full potential and to support my family, that is my husband, Neil, and my two boys to reach their full potential. Their full potential. And then the last one is to use whatever struggles I go through in my life to help others and especially women with the same things. So assist women to overcome struggles that I also face. So those are three of my I want to call it my life purposes. So let's see, health. If I'm working on my health, is it aligned with my values? Yes, I'm showing self-discipline, I'm showing unconditional positive regard and respect towards my own body, and I'm working on reaching my full potential. 
a quality time with my family, all of those and also working on helping them to reach their full potential. Uh, recording a YouTube video, yes, because I'm assisting women um, and men out there to overcome challenges that I have had to overcome. And taking a cold shower, yes, I'm reaching my full potential. I'm working on my health and my wellness. Meditating, yes. So that gives you an idea of how you can go through these five main goals to see whether they are aligned with your life purpose. One of the reasons why it's so important for your goals to be aligned with your values and your life purpose is, let's say your values and your life purpose is like a compass guiding you through life. If you, let's say, are about 3 to 10 degrees off course, in the beginning it might not seem like much, it might not seem like there's a problem, but imagine a week, a month, a year, five years from now, you're going to end up at a completely different destination. So always go back to the core before you make any big decisions or before you start working on a goal. Okay, so that was step one. Step two was to basically go and see what um, what goals that you want, what goals you want to reach. The next step is to narrow it down even further because we want to be really realistic and we want it to be sustainable. So then you're going to go into your goals and going, you're going to um, list each goal here: one, two, three, four, five, and narrow it down by checking these five points. So is this goal realistic? Is this goal reachable in seven days? Is this goal measurable? Can I measure my progress? Or will I be able to know whether I've reached this goal? Is this goal uh, relevant for my current situation? And what was the last one? Um, I'll think of it now but these are some of the questions you can ask yourself to see which goal you want to focus on right now so let's say health is it relevant yes it's relevant is it realistic yes it's realistic is it measurable mm, how can I measure it maybe I want to get my blood pressure down a bit so maybe I want to um, use my weight as a measuring tool. So yes, it can be measurable. Is it relevant? Um, maybe it's not that relevant at this moment for this week. Then you can go through all of these different um, goals and you will decide to focus on the one with the most check points, <laughs> with the most points adding up. So that is step three, narrowing it down to a goal that is realistic, that is relevant, that is measurable, and that is specific. That was the other one, specific. So this one was not very specific and I had to go through an exercise to make it specific um, to give you an idea. So the fourth step is now to go and brainstorm. So this is the fun part. Sorry. This is the fun part. And this is where you really want to prepare yourself for quality thinking. I believe that everything we do in life depend on the quality of thinking we do first. So... What I like to do, and I know this is going to look extremely silly, but what I like to do is do a breathing exercise before I dig deep and brainstorm um, ways to actually reach this goal. So let's say I'm going to record my YouTube video this week. So how am I going to do that? Various different ways, but I want to prepare my body and my mind to do some quality, quality thinking. So I like to do this breathing exercise. It's something that I've learned in an online course from Emily Fletcher with regards to meditation. So she teaches you to actually breathe in such a way that you activate your left and your right brain to engage one another and to be able to be more alert, more awake. So I take my two fingers, actually these two fingers, and I breathe in through my left nostril, out through my right. In through my right, out through my left. And you do that like for two or three or five minutes, however long you want to do it. Take nice deep in and out um, through alternating nostrils. 
that is my son in the background. He is also here. Yes, that's life. So prepare yourself for some brainstorming. Now I want you to take a nice big paper and literally write all of the ideas you have on reaching this goal within the next week. So it might be um, doing some research on the topic that I want my YouTube video to be about. Go on Instagram and ask people, what would you like to see from YouTube? Go do some research. Then plan to film my video. Um, ask my crew <laughs> to, to come to my house. <laughs> to help me film my YouTube video. Then um, schedule it in my planner. Make some time to actually shoot the YouTube video. Various different ways that you can go and plan how you're going to reach your goal. Let's say my goal was to spend quality time with my family or my son. I might look at my diary and say, okay, on Wednesday, I'm going to keep the week, um, the afternoon open to spend some time with my eldest. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to spend um, a date night with my husband. So think of all the different ways you can do this. And then the last step, the fifth step is to put it in your diary. If I have a to-do list and it's not in my diary, it's not gonna get done. So I literally take my phone, I go onto my calendar and I set out times whether it is for taking a cold shower, whether it is for making a YouTube video, whether it is to reply to that email, I've literally put everything in my diary. So those are the five steps that I use to reach a goal in seven days. Always remember to go back after the seven days just to see have I reached my goal, haven't I reached my goal. Um, always also remember to decide how you're going to measure this this goal um, how am i going to know whether i've recorded my youtube video it's actually going to be on my phone how am i going to know that i spend quality time with my kids um, i might see an improvement in my relationship or i might see um, a change in behavior so how are you going to measure it and then make sure that you improve on the tactics you decided to use if it didn't work for you at that stage I really hope you enjoyed this video on reaching a goal in seven days. Please let me know your feedback and let me know what you want to reach in the next seven days.